Following a meeting of the National Emergency Management Advisory Committee, NEMAC, and based on advice from the command center, the government of St. Lucia has amended the COVID-19 prevention and control protocols effective Wednesday, March 17, 2021, until Friday, April 16, 2021. Details on the adjustment in just a moment. First, a look at the data that informed the decision process. At the presentation to NEMAC on Thursday, March 11, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George explained that we are still in a critical position when it comes to COVID-19. Although we have recorded successes and the current epidemiological curve indicates an encouraging downward turn in the rate of transmission. St. Lucia at 12 of March 2021 had recorded 3,748 recoveries of COVID-19 cases. Speaking during an update to the nation, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George disclosed that the island had conducted some 33,348 COVID-19 tests and the number of active cases stood at 218, with 66 being at the Body Lake Correctional Facility and 152 from the community. To date, the island has recorded 15 cases of the British variant, the only variant identified in country to date. The chief medical officer said the Ministry of Health has noted a steady rate of decrease in positive COVID-19 cases. Our daily infection rate is 8.2 per 100,000. Our testing positivity within the last seven days is 13%. And within the last seven days, um, the previous seven days, it was 20%. So we continue to see a, a decrease in, in our positivity. And our rate of transmission is now at 1.6. There are three orange lines, the three taller bars. I just want to indicate that those three bars represent the cases that we are managing at the bodily correctional facility. And these are not community cases. So those three bars, which seemed to fall out of the, the epi curve, I thought needed a level of explanation. These are due to the outbreak at the bodily correctional facility. You note our small wave in March, which was a very little blimp, a little. We had a second wave in October, which went into November. And our third wave that we've managed between January, February, and it is coming um, which is clearing up at this point. We know the, the rate of decrease in cases. And not just in our, our testing, we see in the decrease. On a weekly basis, we note a reduction in persons at the respiratory clinics. We've been noting through our surveillance a reduction in the number of persons with respiratory signs and symptoms. And we've also been seeing reductions in terms of admissions at the respiratory hospital. Majority of the positive COVID-19 cases recorded to date fall between the ages of 25 and 49, followed by ages 50 years and older. Lower age groups account for a smaller percentage with school age that is 0 to 17 years, accounting for only 9.2% of total cases. These individuals have no to mild symptoms and recover well. 53% of the total positive COVID-19 cases are female. The distribution of cases is highest in the Castries district, followed by Grosili, Barbono, and Ancillary Canaries. Dr. Belmar George warned that while majority of the indicators are pointing to the flattening of the curve, St. Lucia is not yet out of the woods. We, we are pleased for the reduction in cases, but it does not indicate that we are yet in a safe place. We still have, um, like I indicated, over 100 active cases 152 active cases within the, the community, and we would like to bring this number down um, further before we will feel um, comfortable. So it is important that although we are pleased with the rate of decrease to date, it is not an indication for us to, to let our guard down. We still have to ensure we are very vigilant and we maintain all of the measures. It is not an indication for us to, to socialize or to, to relax the measures. We still need to, to monitor very closely. So we maintain the gains that we have seen um, thus far. The Chief Medical Officer is urging all St. Lucians not to let their guard down, but instead to continue to adhere to all stipulated protocols.